Hi guys, just been watching BigClive.com's latest video about fake car deicers. Um, yeah, more fake modular vehicle deicers is his video. I'll put a link in the video description to his video. Anyway, I was looking at the comments on that because clearly these fake deicers, well, there's quite a few different types. Uh, there's these ones that are just um, air fresheners and some other shaped ones. But this was the one that caught my eye because, uh, as Big Clive says, it's actually a fake car alarm. They've just repackaged it and called it an electromagnetic molecular interference antifreeze snow removal instrument. And some of the comments were saying, I wondered if the actual car alarm was cheaper than the <laughs> fake um, snow removal thing. So if you click on one of these just to have a look at the prices of them, I mean, this one says $2.99 to $6.49. Well, you click on it and you go down through these things to try and select one. And you're not getting there. Let's keep going down. There we go. One piece, six pound forty nine. That's that's what you get. Just one, six pound forty nine. Or you could select that, which is just a sticky backed hook for the two ninety nine that they were actually advertising. The price range, two ninety nine to six forty nine. I thought that was bad, but then I spotted another one. Uh, where did I put it? Is that the one? Yeah, from 99 pence to £3.40. Same layout on the advert. You go down through it. Doesn't matter which one you click on. Nothing turns up till you actually get down to about here somewhere. £3.40 for a blue light. £3.40 for... A a red light. Well, where was the 99 pence one? Here's the 99 pence one. A plastic bag. So they'll send you a plastic bag for 99 pence. They're not saying there's anything in it. They're just saying it's a plastic bag. So for 99 pence, so they can show it on the listing, wherever it was. I've lost it now. There we are on the listing. From 99 pence to £3.40. That's what you get for 99 pence. Brilliant. Anyway, what I was interested in was, was it worth buying the um, car alarm? Not because I want a fake car alarm, but as somebody said, if the solar panel on it actually works and it actually charges up the little NICAT or nickel, nickel metal hydride battery that's inside and it flashes an LED, it might be useful for something if you can get it cheap enough, which is why I thought 99 pence might be okay. <laughs> well, it saves me driving to the shops to find one. But uh, yeah, it's not 99 pence. This one's £3.40. And the antifreeze one, how much one was that? Oh, they, it is cheaper to get the car alarm. It's the same item. <laughs> so they want you to pay £6.49 for that one because they're calling it a antifreeze instrument, snow removal. And de-icer, yeah, whatever. Um, if you want details of what's in it, have a look at Big Clive's video. He takes it apart and shows you. £7.30 for your antifreeze one there. They're all different prices. They're all junk. Um, but it did just cross my mind. I might be able to do something with a a circuit that charges up during the day and flashes an LED at night.
It even shows a, a USB port on it, which Clive suspects just goes straight to the battery with a resistor in it. Yeah. So I just thought I'd have a look. Waste of time, waste of money. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave us a comment so I know how I'm doing. And somewhere up here there'll be some links to related playlists. Thanks again.